Hello class 4. Welcome back to your English grammar and composition. So children, today we are going to do your 14th chapter that is adjectives. Children, you know what are adjectives? Before adjectives, doing adjectives, I just want you to recall your nouns which we did before this. So children, nouns are the name of a person, place, animal or thing I have written here. And what is the adjective? Adjective are, Adjectives are the words which describe nouns. And nouns are the name of the person, place, animal or thing. So the words which describe a noun, which add something to a noun, are called as the adjectives or the describing words. Now children, look at the following sentences here. Gopi is an old man. The word old, it is telling you what kind of man Gopi is. So it is describing the man whose name is Gopi. It is describing that this man is old. In the second sentence we have, this is a black dog. So here dog is the noun and black word is describing this dog. So black tells us what the color of the dog is. It is describing the dog. Then we have Gita has three pencils. So there is a description about pencils that how many pencils are there. The word three tells us how many pencils Gita has. So this three word is describing pencils and pencils is a thing. So And that is also a noun. See dog is animal. It is noun. Man is a person. It is noun. Pencils are the things. They are nouns. So old black and three these all are the describing words and they are describing nouns. So these describing words are known as the adjectives as they are describing nouns. And here you might have noticed that the adjectives they are placed just before the noun. They are placed just before the nouns which, which they are describing. Only those nouns which they are describing. Now come to the other examples that is John is tall. Here tall word is describing John. John is a boy. Then we have the sky is blue. Blue word is describing the sky. So blue is adjective, sky is noun. Honey is sweet. Sweet word is describing honey. Honey is a thing. John, sky, honey, all these are the nouns and tall, blue and sweet are describing these nouns. So they are known as the adjectives. But here you see that the adjectives are placed after the nouns. Right? So we come to know that adjectives can be placed before the nouns also or after the nouns also. So here is the definition of adjectives. Adjectives tell us what kind of, how many, what color, etc. person, place, animals and things are. Means they describe the nouns in any of the ways. Then come to your exercise part. Here on page number 36, the exercise part is there. Underline the adjectives in the following sentences. You just have to underline the adjectives, right? The Rajdhani Express is a fast train. So fast word is describing the Rajdhani Express train. So it is adjective. Then Mangal Pandey was a brave soldier. What kind of soldier Mangal Pandey was? He was a brave soldier. Right? So the brave word is describing the what kind of soldier he was. Haridwar is a holy city. So what kind of Haridwar? What, what kind of city is Haridwar? 
holy. Holy is describing the city. So holy is the adjective. And the ant is a tiny insect. So what kind of insect is the ant? That is tiny. Tiny is the adjective. The street was narrow. How was the street? Narrow. So narrow is the adjective to street. The fox is a cunning animal. What kind of animal is fox? That is cunning. So cunning is the adjective to the noun animal. Always drink pure water. So what kind of water should be drunk? That is pure. Adjective is pure. A year has 12 months. A year has how many months? 12 months. So 12 word is describing the months. That is, so 12 is the adjective. The class was very quiet. The class was the uh, noun is class and quiet is adjective. Children, we are not underlining very because very is the adverb which you will you are going to learn afterwards. Quiet is only the adjective. The sun is made up of hot gases. So what kind of gases the sun is made up of? That is hot gases. It is bright and sunny day. What kind of day? Day is bright and sunny. Bright and sunny are the adjectives. Sumit is an active and smart child. What kind of child is Sumit? That is active and smart. Kolkata is a large no noisy city. Large and noisy are the adjectives here. The book has colorful pictures. What kind of pictures? Colorful pictures. Colorful is the Adjective, the elephant is a strong and intelligent animal. So what kind of animal is elephant? That is strong and intelligent. So the words which we have underlined here, they all are called as the adjectives. Now put a noun after each of these adjectives. So adjective has been given to you. You have to add the noun for them. See a muddy stream. Right? The round table, a torn shirt, a tame dog, a shy boy, a tidy room, a sour lemon, a cloudy night, a straight line, an amusing film. Children, you can write the nouns of your choice also, but they should be suitable. Right? Now, E part, write adjectives to, the, to describe these persons. See, again the describing words are here and you have to describe the these people with the single adjective. A person who does not like to do any work. The person is lazy. A person who is always doing one thing or other. That is busy. A person who does not talk politely. That person is called as rude. A person who does not tell lies. That person is honest. A person who is always ready to help others. That is helpful. A person who does not spend money easily. That is miserly. A person who is liked by many. That is popular. Hope you have done this. You take your time and do the work. Right? Now come to the next page. Eighth sentence. A person who is not afraid of anything, that person is fearless. Right? A person who easily mixes up with others, that is friendly. A person who is in the habit of praising himself or herself, that is boastful. Right? Now, Solve the following puzzle with the help of the clues given below. Note that all the words filled in can be used as adjective. They should be adjectives. Now across. Across you know from left to right. This is a pretty dress. Pretty is a dash dress that is pretty. P-R-E-T-T-Y. A dash news. Number four, shocking news. A dash noise. Number five, loud noise. Dash food. 
delicious food a dash policeman helpful policeman now down from top to bottom dash weather stormy weather a dash answer number 2 is polite answer number 3 dash water dash water chilled water number 6 a dash road bumpy road dash clothes loose clothes hope you have understood children and children if you have not understood feel free to comment in the comment box or my students can ask me anything in the zoom class so goodbye children you can mark whatever you have to ask you can put a circle on that sentence any doubts are there and those who are not my students they can just write their query in the comment box that will also be clear so children hope you all have, you all are done with this and have a nice day goodbye and have a nice day children